Project 718, 13, 13. What? Nigga, what? Huh? Nigga, what? Got it? Yeah. Hey, what? You got me? Yeah. Get a little closer. We got space, G. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Come on, baby. Where we at? Is this you? It? No, Put it right here, G. No, 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 no. Hey, you just roll this up like this, on Watch this. I see you. Just smash that motherfucker from underneath me. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even feel that shit. <laughs> nigga, we were trying to get with your ass for the longest, nigga. No, All that shit. Mm -hmm. Get it out. Uh uh, hold on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hold on, don't put the goddamn hot peppers on it. Give me a show. God yeah, damn. Oh, he, he's a cold pizza. Oh, wait a minute. What is oh, this? Is this yeah, like this is for a fucking free pizza? Yeah. Hell no. It ain't a free pizza, though. I it ain't like that. that. Wait, wait. Go back to what you doing. That's what you're supposed to be doing. What is this? God damn. You done beat the shit Pitch out of my that shit. Slice. Take your slice, though, man, and raise up, man. I mean, you done beat the fuck out of my season, What the fuck do I look like, man? Hey, bitch. Sheets of that paper. Use a cold piece of work. Finish that shit off quick as fuck. That'll keep you niggas up off me. Some slides in that paper, man. Hey, you gonna need some paper and a whole bunch of other shit. God damn. Here you go. Hey, take this, man. No. Tape all this. Nigga, this is interview paper, big baby. Oh, you gonna make me show my ass. Nobody. Oh yeah, we're gonna get you. <laughs> we're gonna get we got hey, you. We don't wanna get a food fight on TV, man. Uh, we do not wanna get Richie Rich getting get smacked with a piece of pizza. Oh, on, <laughs> on, what am I gonna do with this? What you need, big baby? <laughs> <laughs> what you need, man? <laughs> what you need? My number, nigga. At least get a big slice. That nigga get a big slice of paper. That nigga said, what you doing? Hey, this LL, this red man. Oh, no, here. Man, you got hella rhymes. That's man. what I'm trying to say, nigga. Hey, man, I'm trying to handle you business know. like you trying to handle yours. That your. nigga said, what? Here. No, I'm talking, I'm talking. Hey, nigga, I just tore it off. Take it. What you doing? You call me to work. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga. Yeah, call me that nigga stupid, man. I didn't throw me off of it. <laughs> <laughs> See, you was trying to be all Nat Turner about that shit. That's why I came down like this. You got one out, cuz? Dude, what's Yeah, I don't want no more of this. Go ahead, start going to this is a little piece of y'all. Y'all the motherfuckers be like, we can't even. Wait, man, wait, man. 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 Wait, I'm gonna just keep talking because I ain't got no mic. They ain't on him. He got it. He's coming on his mic. Hey, ooh, salivating. You salivating. Nigga, take over this shit. What is he gonna be nice? They told me I could go to my bro's house for 12 hours, <laughs> nigga. Do you know what I did? I damn near told a motherfucker. Give me that goddamn phone. What's your name, motherfucker? I'm gonna call your boss and congratulate you. That's <laughs> like 12, nigga. 12 bucks. It's all good. It's all good. That's to ride with you because I was going to smoke a 20 star. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
What up, y'all? Welcome back to the Underground Mix. We cooling in the house with Richie Rich and Mr. Tupac. Mm. Tupacalypse now. Mm-hmm. With no nappies. No nappies. Not First nappy of all, love. Tupac, I want to talk about the album strictly for my niggas in mm-hmm. our double GA. Mm-hmm. And, you know, the word nigga, can you elaborate on that? What does it mean in your words? Well, it ain't my words. It's everybody's words. Since this black watch, I don't have to tell all my black watch viewers what nigga mean, because y'all know. If I was on ABC, I'd answer that. But this black watch, y'all know what I mean by nigga. I mean it in a loving way. My peoples, my folks, my whatever you want to call it. My niggas. Everybody done heard that before. That ain't nothing new. I ain't the first nigga, and I won't be the last nigga to, lo- to use nigga. So, let's get into some more deeper shit. All right. Like that pizza over there. What, what, what makes this album right here different from the... Tupacalypse now. This is my last album. That should make it different. And why is that? Cause, cause, it's just my last album. <laughs> <laughs> it's over, man. It's, it's over, man. It's over. Can't you tell, man? It's <laughs> yeah, over. Damn. All right, on the song, point your. F- Point the finger, you know, you mentioned that you get harassed by the police. Every motherfucking day. Right. And uh, you're suing the OPD for, what, $5 million? What's that all about? Ten. Ten million. Ten million dollars. Get that shit. I got to have my mail. What happened? You know, tell us what happened. Wait, hold on. That's old. They beat me up. I sued. You got to have our mail. But I got to have... <laughs> He said, Richard Rich said you gotta have their man, huh? I'm a brother. You a cold piece of work, man. <laughs> you a cold. All right, there's been a lot of cop killing going on, you know, this whole uh, 93. Uh, you know, do you feel any remorse for the cops that got killed? And be real. Can you Wait, fart? wait, wait, wait. Can you fall? Wait, wait, I'm feeling my remorse, man, too. <laughs> uh, can you fart? No. I mean, I would if I could, but I can't. Because it wasn't no remorse for Latasha. It wasn't no remorse for you, Seth Hawkins. And there wasn't no remorse when the motherfuckers kicked my ass. So they can all motherfucking die till they respect me as a motherfucking man. And every black man out there, they can all motherfucking die. And that's real. So they do, more motherfuckers gonna die. As long as they got bullets, it's gonna be some justice around this motherfucker. Believe that. All right, let's talk about the verdict. You know, two of them was found guilty. Two of them was set free. You know, how do you feel about that situation? I mean, that's dumb. That's all I'm gonna say about that. That's dumb. Anybody who still believes in the justice system is smoking crack. <laughs> And I got an ounce for their ass. <laughs> All right. You know, you, like in your song, Holler If You Hear Me, you know, you mentioned, you know, see you when you free me. If if not, when they'll send me back. Uh-uh, when they shove me in. When they shove you yeah, in. Being I mean, incarcerated, right? Yeah, they got to shove me in the penitentiary or jail. I'm not going willingly. And I got a Mini 14. And a Mac 11. Glock. I got some shit for they ass, so come get me. All right, Tupac, check it out. You know, you in the public's eye and everything. And no, I ain't the public in my eye. Right. <sighs> but you on the two, and yeah. when, like, say the police pull you over, no, you know, what you about? on me. The tube is on Tupac. Yeah, I'm not on the tube. The tube on me. And do you still get harassed, you know? I that told y'all, every day. Every day. Every day. Either it's a bitch. A cop, a jealous nigga, or a Caucasian, or an Oriental, or a Mexican that can't drive, or somebody harassing me every motherfucking day. That's why I stay strapped, stay drunk, and stay high till I die. <laughs> there it is from Tupac, y'all. Check it out. We're going to jump into this video. Holler if you hear me on the underground mix. Tupac lips now. Hey, Big hey, baby, hey, baby. Hey, 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 is that cheese or cheese? Hey, 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 hey
This shit fuck with teaser teaser. Damn, two pop. Need to fuck with Domino's or Pizza Hut, cause they fuck off. Oh, well, here come the man coming down the hall. How wide is the video show? Geo. <laughs> video show walk down the street. Got that Hey, y'all ready, man? Hey, yeah. Yeah, because I'm ready to go smoke some weed. I, yeah, I, I ain't never been inside. I'm trying, nigga. You know? I'm trying. That shit nasty. You like that shit? Hey, it's flossy, nigga. I roll. Got silky voice blood. Give us some love, man. What? I'm, I'm gonna tell you though, before you start running, if you ask me some fake shit, I'm gonna answer it fake. If you ask me some real shit, I'm gonna answer it real. If you ask me some shit that everybody asks me, I'm gonna answer it like I'm bored. If you ask me some shit that ain't nobody ever asked me, I'm gonna answer it like it's the first time I ever heard it. Hey, excuse me. But you asking me some shit that white folks yeah, yeah, yeah. ask, so I'm gonna answer it just like that. If it's black, white shit, let's be black about it. Yeah, really dumb. Shit. Putting it on that, nigga. I meant to tell you, shit. you reminded me. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Check the fuck out. I meant to tell you that. That nigga Rich is just out of control. I want to say something for my mom. <laughs> Fly your ass down to LA so you can see your son on TV. <laughs> <laughs> see that with mom, get a hold of that, your ass is through. But she ain't gonna get a hold yeah. of it because she's gonna hold But I give her a copy of this shit. It's all right. We're gonna be here all night. We ready, man. All right. Bro, check. What up, y'all? Welcome back to the Underground Mix. We back with that real NIWGA, Tupac. And I want to talk about censorship, which kind of affected you. You know? Yeah. Vice President of the United States tried to hit you with a little shit. He did. He threw things at me. He said, take my shit up off the shelf. Now, if that ain't hitting me, what is? I'm talking about the vice president of the country you live in. You understand what I'm saying? That'd be like if the prince said, so I mean, goddamn, the vice president talked about me. A young nigga from the hood, he know me, he want my shit up off the shelf. Not motherfucking Megadeth. Not kill a cop. Uh, all these other motherfuckers out there, all these white men, God damn, they came out to me. Young Pac. You know why? Because my shit is different than the next man. My shit be telling niggas to off these old punk motherfuckers. My shit talk about swinging back. They know the difference between mine and the next man. So that's why they came after me. But bust this up. Thug life is my revenge on all that. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. You know, you... You straight up and everything, you know, Ice T got sweated by Time Warner Brothers. Has your record company tripped with you? Tripped? God damn. My record company tripped, fell down, bounced, did triple somersaults, got up, fell two more times, got up, tripped, fell, rolled over in the gutter, and tripped six more times. Hell yeah, they tripped. They stifled me, censored me, whatever else they could do. They trying to quiet a nigga down in the worst way. But as long as, like I said, I repeat, as long as they got bullets and two-inch tape, there will be justice out this motherfucker. Trust. All right, now look, check this out. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Right, here we go. Right. All right. All right. Let's see, where am I at? Am I going to play them? Yeah. Hell yeah. As long as I can slang these motherfucking tapes out of my car, I'm going platinum, Jack. Believe that like you believe crack sale. My shit sell. Long as crack sell, my shit gonna sell. That's how I'm gonna put that one. Uh. All right. My shit going platinum, goddammit. Uh. Long as pussy sell, my record sales. Uh. Got me? Feel me? Uh. Check this out, Tupac. The media, you know, sweated you over all your negative Fuck the things. media. All right, but you... Made a bunch of positive records like Brenda's Got a Babel, Baby, and uh, keep all my up. shit is positive. All my shit is positive. That's the white man got you thinking my shit is negative and positive. All my shit positive because it tell niggas to swing back. It tell sisters to swing back and it tell niggas to swing back. If that ain't positive, crack don't sell. You got me? 
You feel me? That's positive. White people got you believing just because I'm telling a nigga to stop getting his head kicked in by the police to take the gun he would use to shoot his brother in a second and kill the motherfucking cop that's killing you, your family, and everybody else on the block. You know what I'm saying? Kill that motherfucker. That is not insane. That is sane and straight like a motherfucker. That's positive, like a motherfucker. Because from where I'm standing, that would save a black family. You know what I'm saying? But from where they standing, that would keep a mother motherfucker off welfare and keep another motherfucker shooting at cops, crooked cops that be trying to shoot us down. So fuck them. It's all positive. Everything I do is positive, goddammit, because I'm still breathing. And I ain't on welfare. And I once was. You hear me? Now, 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 since you just yeah, straight is. on the real tip, you, now, you got your boy right here, Richie Reed. Now, what y'all collaborating on right now, just to give it on the real, the real, on what y'all doing. Yeah, what's happening now? Now, we're just on that tip. We faded on that now. Yeah. I didn't try to tell y'all no, 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 since no, no, I got no, out here. It's I'm all low. about that thug life. And they I'm think low. thug life is a rap group. No, -uh. uh, no, no, no. Thug life is just some old deep shit that you can't sink your feet in. It's Richie Rich. It's my nigga Snoop Dogg. It's my nigga the governor. It's my nigga Warren G. Everybody's on this motherfucker. On this thug life album, we got my nigga Spice One, Psych. Mac 10, rated R. I got niggas from all over the hood, from all over the rap industry, and they all good. And it's all on this motherfucker because it's all about that thug life. It's all about niggas coming together and making papers off what we can do best. And that's game these motherfuckers. And that's straight check these white motherfuckers and put our motherfucking beard down. We been doing it. We do it every motherfucking day. The game is motherfucking free. But shit, we need to start making some money off of it. All these motherfucking white kids, they want to be G's? Well shit, let me raise you young motherfuckers. Come get a slice of this old shit. You hear me? Take a chunk of the shit and it's all good. All good. Right. Well, stay loaded. Stay loaded. I stay loaded. Hey, man. Stay loaded, man. Don't get me out here clowning, man. I stay loaded, though. Hey, Jack. Why don't you twist one of them good ones up? Yeah. Hey, can I get a, uh, can get a blunt? Hey, Jack. Oh, uh, look. Can I get a blunt? Hey, Manu, let me get a blunt. Don't want to blow it. Here we go. All right, we're going to come at you and we just straight on, so you just come back at us. Yeah, we're going to spit it at you. We're going to give you the goddamn questions, because that white white shit. Ten cops. Ten cops. Well, give it to me, man. I've been waiting. I ain't running. I ain't scared. Ten cops. Ten cops. Ten cops. That Brian Gumbel shit. It's sad, sad. No. Somebody tell me. Just a little digital underground. Digital underground. Yeah. Well, yeah. Now we back in the house with Tupac. Digital you underground. You know what I'm saying? We do the little no. song. You know no, what I'm saying? Tupac. You on your second album? Can Tupac. I get a blunt? Are you slowly leaving digital underground? Hell no, nah. no. nigga. If you ain't watched, I'm slowly coming up. <laughs> I thought you knew. Uh, ask somebody. Ask them. Ask somebody. This is how it is. I'm the type of motherfucker that got to have my own. I got to hustle for my own. And any man out there got to feel me. It ain't about milking off the next man. That's a motherfucking hoe. I'm a motherfucking pimp. I'm finna come up on my own. I'm gonna get my own sack. I don't want to be nobody worker all my life. I want my own motherfucking kilo. You understand me? So that's what I did. And Shaka Hustler, and I'm a hustler, so everybody understand it. Ain't no one man gonna stay in one spot forever. That's a sucker. I'm a hustler. I'm gonna come up. So I took what little bit he gave me and doubled up and doubled up and doubled up, and I've been doubling since. And I'm gonna keep on doubling till these niggas kill me, and that's that. Can I get a blunt, please? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Please, that man, that man. Check it out. If you yeah, do that one time, in the life yeah, you yeah. Hell yeah, I was homeless. And I'll be homeless again if y'all don't buy my records. I swear to God, I will. Yeah, How are your records doing, well, man? You know. So far, we doing cool. They selling and everything. My shit popping well, in and out the charts. Out shit is starting shit. to be cool. But I mean, that don't mean nothing. Because goddamn, I didn't seen a, 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 I didn't seen eviction notices before, and they ain't pretty. And it don't say if you a rapper don't trip. <laughs> don't say that. It don't say it. <laughs> the motherfuckers be like, yo. What they say? It say, uh, get your ass up out my chassis if you ain't got my rent. And my rent, I'm going to tell y'all, is $1,400 a month. And that don't include the motherfuckers that got to clean it up. It don't include gas. It don't include none of that shit. It don't include my very large chronic habit. It don't include none of that. But I pays it, man. I'm hustling. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. That's why I be tripping. 
Y'all be seeing me in the back and be like, what's wrong with that nigga? That's why I be tripping on niggas when they try to flex on me. You understand? Because I'm out here hustling. Just like any nigga on the corner out there slanging, going through the risks he got to take to slang whatever he got to slang. I'm out here slanging. And all this risk that niggas try to make me go through, I'm going to make them feel the fire like I got to feel the fire. And that's real. And anybody can't understand that. They don't understand a black thing. It's gonna stay black. I'm not finna act white just cause y'all want me to act white. Just cause all these other motherfuckers act white when they get their papers. I'ma act very black. I'ma buy bins cause that's what niggas do. Right. You understand me? I'ma smoke weed cause that's what niggas do. I'ma pack a gat cause that's what niggas do. You understand me? I'ma get drunk cause that's what niggas do. You understand me? I'm not gonna change just cause motherfuckers got money. God damn, I'ma go through my hardships just like the next man. I'm 21 years old, and God help me make another day. But I'm going to go through it my way. I'm not going to act all enlightened. I'm not going to act like I got this Bible that tell me I don't got shit, never had a daddy. I had to teach my motherfucking self how to be a man. You understand me? And I'm still learning. But it can't a motherfucker out there tell me shit. Because I was on welfare, started with nothing. Now I got a little bit of something. I'm on the bright screen. I'm on videos. God damn it. That's why I act like this. You feel me? That's why I act like this. Cause my mama was a crack addict, man. I came up from out of nothing. Feel me? There it is from Tupac, y'all. An underground mix. Holly Baby. I'm gonna just tell y'all, y'all know where to I did my own interview. Holly Holly you me. Me. I wish y'all. I'm asking my own questions, man. I'm asking my own questions over here, man. Come here, man. Hey, get my man in here, man. This is my nigga, man. You got this, man. You got this. This is my nigga Keith, man. We did a movie together. But wait, Justice, wait till y'all see my nigga. Bitches gonna trip on Keith. (laughs) (laughs) Bitches gonna be tripping on my nigga. He's my nigga bad. is, hey, he's, hey, listen, he's going, hey. He just kind of helped get me in the mood. Nah, oh, right. my God. Oh, my God. I know who's the leader, and I know how to speak behind him, Hey, know? check this out, y'all. Ever since I met this nigga, though, know, I be getting more and more pussy. Yeah. Now, he don't want to take credit for it. He don't want to take credit for it. But you know how that shit go. But he ain't getting it as long as he can. You he know how that shit go. Bitch, be kind of talking about Keith sent me. Oh, God damn. I don't fucking got that, man. Keep right. <laughs> yes. Keep 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 my nigga get in the movie. Wait till y'all see the movie. Y'all gonna check, they gonna go keep watching it can act. Motherfuckers gonna be bugging out. We did the dope shit, Janet Jackson. Hell yeah, I had my tongue in her mouth. It was all that. What kind it was of character was you playing? I was playing, I was playing a young nigga. That's the only character I could play. I know motherfuckers gonna get tired of seeing me in the movies, cause I'ma have the same part every time. A young nigga. Right. I'ma be a young nigga every time. I'm a big, I'm in Juice, I was a young nigga with a gun. In this one, I'm a young nigga with a baby. In the next one, I'm going to be a young motherfucking nigga. God damn it. I'm going to stay playing young niggas till I'm old as motherfucking Dizzy Gillespie. Then I'm going to play old niggas, god damn it. I'm going to be an old nigga with a gun. I'm going to be an old nigga with a baby. And I'm going to be an old motherfucking nigga. I'm going to stay doing movies as long as they stay paying me for it, god damn it. I'm going to stay rapping as long as they stay paying for it, god damn it. Well, what was it like working with John Singleton? It was all good. And we're going to stay low. I'm going to roll a job. I'm going to show y'all motherfuckers how you really roll a motherfucking blunt. God damn it. Because motherfuckers be swearing they be smoking weed, but they ain't smoking like I'm smoking, god damn it. You feel me? I ain't going to fuck my sack off, man. <laughs> he think I'm going to just go out 100% on TV. Excuse me. I'm not going to go out like that. He trying to snitch. He thinking he in a roundabout way, he just slipped. Really. In a roundabout way, he just dry snitch. You won't send me down a goddamn river. Hey, he just dry snitch in a, in a roundabout way. Now, Let we, me hold the interview. Rolling up, we rolling up. Um, this we teaching it. Uh, what is that? Hey, this is a cigar. I, I'm not doing nothing but rolling my cigar. This El Capitan. <laughs> Niggas is real for the street, man. The motherfucker ain't gonna cross up. Nigga gotta stay real. This all I'm saying, man. This all I'm saying. This might might be no role model type shit or none of that. But goddamn, ask yourself. Ask your mama, ask your daddy, ask your auntie, ask your uncle. You smoked weed before, didn't you? You smoked crack before too, didn't you? I'm a role model though. Well, Pac never did nothing but smoke weed. That's it. He never fucked with that old bullshit. 
So give me my motherfucking propers and don't sweat me when I'm blunted like a motherfucker. I'm a role model. President Bill Clinton said. Because if you give me something, I'm a role. Then in hell. Yeah. Especially if it's any type of anything. Yeah. I in hell, but I don't sweat I'm a motherfucking role model. <laughs> ain't that a bitch? Hey. That's like saying you I'm fucking, but you ain't busting nuts. I'm down with that role model shit, though. <laughs> On the movie, any funny thing just... you give me, I'm a role. Whether it be me. <laughs> Yo, Dayton's, whatever. Yeah, uh, a bad <laughs> bitch, <laughs> a brand new vehicle. Whatever, man. Like Road model, yeah. Speed hey, game. Hey, but you know what? Check this out. Coming straight from East Oakland, from your partner Double O, we running with this nigga right here. Boy is wild. You know, I'm just out here <laughs> hanging out with the motherfucker. The boy is wild. But look, this is line. Line. Oh, yes on Proposition 156. Pussies with dipsticks. That way you can see if the pussy is dry. <laughs> you pull it out if the shit is dry. Get the bitch a couple of quarts. Take it to the room and ride that ass. So just remember, yes, on Prop 156. Pussies with dipsticks. Sideways. I got a question. How come the police got to ride with guns, bulletproof vests, mace, sticks, walkie-talkies, backup, shotguns, Helicopter. all that shit to go through the ghetto, but we got to go through that motherfucker with no bulletproof vests, no guns, no dope, no weed, no drink, no motherfucking nothing. I got and, that and, question. And they see us all day, every day, so we mowing day. Yeah, I got that motherfucking question for your ass. Mm. And why does the president live in the White House if he's really representing each American out here? Why don't he live in the motherfucking crack house and see how fast they clear up this drug epidemic? Huh? Mm. I live in the whole house and see how fast this age shit get cleared up. Feel me? I live in the motherfucking section eight and see how fast this welfare shit clear up. That's what I'm motherfucking trying to say. Like me slide to Camp David. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let niggas go to Camp David so we can show these motherfuckers how to party. Because Camp David got young bitches in bikinis. Right. I know why Bush and them be sitting up there. Because they old farts. Because they got young bitches with bikinis, cola, and pistols and shit. You know, <laughs> Living like Scarface out there. Lawson, making movies, you know. Yeah. Trick ass pinkies. <laughs> pinkies is a motherfucker. They looking for my road dog over there. That's why he low. <laughs> Fuck the pinkies though. They looking for the They looking for a motherfucker to see. Black you know, watch will say, never give you the change. location. Hey, devil, what they fucking mean? <laughs> so Black watch will they never give you a motherfucker's yeah. location. Yeah. You can't see us, like and we know that you are after us. Ass, and I post a P for my man in three weeks, but he might not see me. It's like this. And Black Watch ain't gonna give up my fucking location. I know I'm wrong for smoking weed and shit, but it's like this, Mr. Officer. Do you wanna die upholding the law? Cause I sure gonna die for holding this motherfucking blood. So if you wanna die for that, my nigga got some shit too. God damn it. Uh, uh, right off, man. Paid, man. Paid, man. Hey, 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 man. And I'm spending all this on cabs because my partner won't take me to my bitch house. No, 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 This nigga no, 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 he the one. Hey, what's but up, you know what thing, Pop? What's up with the cut with Bree? The motherfuckers are so strong. Gotta get mine. That's why I was just showing y'all. Gotta get mine. Gotta get his, right man. Pop, let us know. Gotta get his. Got to get mine. Let him get his. I let a dog laugh, man. I'm going to make you poop on your panties if you don't let him Shout get out video. Got to get my poop on your Can I just video. be personal with y'all right now? Yeah, I just want to be personal. Yeah. I want to tell y'all some personal shit. I ain't married. I, I don't got no, no section to tell. I ain't married. I ain't got no woman. But. I'm known to fucking get up on a motherfucker. I just want to plug my niggas uh, be legit shit. Fuck it, get up. Homie, that's my song, man. Because I fucking get up on these hoes, man. These hoes getting too much. Niggas need to stop giving these bitches all the attention. That's why niggas is dying now. When these hoes get horny, niggas die. Hoes get horny, 
niggas die. Watch. Every time. Every funeral you go to, it's a bitch that was horny the night before. So you need to start checking these bitches. Keep your dicking. Niggas need to go back to the OG penitentiary days and start jacking off. Because if you don't, you're going to end up killing each other. We're going to all die. We got to start saying, fuck these bitches, man. If you fucking with a cool female, that's all good. But if you fucking with a bitch, you need to break her ass and shake her ass. That's how we got to do it in the 9-3. Wow. Bitch jacking off. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, you know what? Hey, you know what's up, so hey, What's up? I got to give love to my nigga Kato who just passed away. One love, ain't nothing changed. Uh, put the rubber on the bulge, BBS polish in the thing. Yikes! Love to my nigga Kato. Yeah. Yeah. Love to my nigga Kato passed he's away, man. Let's talk stuff. about the new videos. I parts. get around. And only underground. Talk about you don't stop for hoes, you know? What's up, man? You just have no love for women or what? I'll quote my nigga. I'll quote a great Negro spiritual. Ted Bitches ain't shit. We don't love them hoes, and it's like that. It's just like that. I don't love them hoes. Tell them a little something about that shit we hooked up tonight, man. A little song. Yeah. We doing this shit called Animosity. It's with Richie Rich, Snoop Doggy Dog, The Governor, and right. Tupac. It's on the Thug Life album. It's just about how niggas just be jealous of a motherfucker. We're That's but just trying to do good. You know what I'm saying? On one hand, niggas be tripping off niggas. That ain't got shit. Then when a nigga get shit, they trip because you got shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That shit is illegal. Illegal. That's the new word for the non-track. Motherfucker be mad because they see you and you don't stop. You don't stop? No, oh, I, I can't stop. Niggas be mad at the shows because I don't kick it. I want to get some, excuse me, yeah, who want to get a little pussy? Let's see. There you go. There you go. Lizzie, you want to, see my want, to, want to run through these bitches. Excuse me for running through these hoes. You just said you didn't want to fuck with the hoes we were supposed to jack off. Now we're going to get the hoes. Man, we got them by the Oh, I ain't never said, hey, I ain't never said we got to get straight go without. Now, any nigga to tell you that got a rubber dick for you. I ain't, just, hey, hey, hey. I'm just saying cut back and don't, yeah. I'm just saying don't fuck your fellow brother for the bitches. That's real. What was it like collaborating with Ice-T and Ice Cube on the, on the track? It on the was all track? good. Them niggas came through. I didn't believe it. I just yeah. kept saying, man, I can't believe them niggas yeah. coming to the, excuse me, excuse me, brother. Let me, let me just, excuse me. Let me hit that I couldn't believe the brothers coming to the studio, but they came, they laid that shit, and it was all good. <laughs> all right. I he talked to him as you rap. He said you and um him was out there tripping like when the <laughs> ride was up. up. I know was up. You my nigga, but you wrong for snitching, man. You told everybody we were shooting this shit. Oh, oh, all real though? All of his toys, yeah. But that's my nigga's cool. I take the rap, nigga. Don't trip. <laughs> hey, it's all good, nigga. Hell yeah, when the riots was on, nigga, on the 29th, your boy Pac was filming a movie, a multi million dollar movie with Janet Jackson. But that motherfucking night, I was out there shooting up motherfucking Chinese takeouts. I swear I was. Sorry. Come Sorry. through it. Hey, but bust it. That was a movie I was doing. That was all the movie that y'all gonna see coming out called April 29th. Turn it down, will you? April 29th. No, come on, though. That's all good. Yeah. So that's the way I be, y'all. We did this movie called April 29th, and I just was shooting up Chinese takeouts in the movie. And I got a part in the movie. <laughs> all right, on this new Off the track, the Coogee rap. With you and MC Bree, you know, what was up with all that? How'd you guys collaborate? Yeah, Y'all yeah, going way see. back? Me and Bree, yeah. yeah. I was on my way to get my Thug Life tattoo that you screwed in the video. And his manager was outside the tattoo spot. I said, Bree down here. I said, Word. He said, Yeah. I said, Where are we at? I went to where he was at. He was in the studio. I laid my shit. And the shit is the first single off his album. So it's all good. Tupac and MC Bree. Oakland and Detroit, huh? Yeah, really, really never knew how it was gonna come out because we wasn't all in the studio at the same time. I remember I was doing my vocals. Tretch walked in, pulled out a pistol, said it's his turn. He did his rap. He left. I left. Patchy did his shit. Everybody laid it. Five Deli Venoms. It was all good. It shows niggas can't come together and do their thing. It is from Tupac. Well, ask me some deep shit. What about that? That's why I agreed to do this interview. I thought we was going to get deep. Ask me about the Hughes brothers. Wait, 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 wait. 
Give me that plug. Hey, okay. I'll take the questions. All right. But yeah, you were supposed to be a minister to society. But, but I wasn't. Hold on, talk about, talk about. Nah, you had your test, man. I was supposed to be a minister to society. Right, I went and everything. They got the deal because of your boy. You know, they, they was my niggas. They used to do all these videos for me. They was the niggas that was talking that you should help your black brother shit. And I helped they punk ass. You know what I'm saying? It was helping them all the way. They got a little movie deal. Tried to act white on me. You understand me? And thought I was going to choose a career before I choose my motherfucking principles, my manhood. So I said, okay, cool. Fire me from this $100,000 movie. Because I ain't gonna play no gangbanger who's a Muslim. There ain't no such thing. I refuse to play parts that don't exist. I will be a young nigga, but I will be a real young nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna, that's gonna make me different than all these niggas that's taking parts. If it's about the money, I might as well stay a drug dealer. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like that. So fuck you, Hughes brothers, for doing that. Then I leave, they fire me over the air on TV, on MTV. They say Tupac fired for threatening the director. What really happened, let me tell the world. He said, I said, you acting like a bitch. He said, you acting like a bitch. I said, well, goddamn, if I'm a bitch, smack a bitch. You feel me? He said, well, if I'm a bitch, smack a bitch. And I stepped towards him. You feel me? But he a bitch. That's real. And I ain't. That's real. Feel me? So the nigga fired me. They did their little million dollar movie. I ain't sweat him the whole while they was filming the movie, even though I was in LA the whole time. Didn't touch him. Cause I ain't want nobody to think it was because of the movie and I'm not jealous. Y'all handle y'all business. I can understand that and I can respect that no matter how much funk we got. You a nigga doing your business, you do it. As Soon as the movie was wrapped though, it's all good. And I met the motherfuckers at the Spice One video for Trigger Got No Heart. And as sure as Spice One was singing how the Trigger had no heart, Tupac has no heart. What's that say? Heartless. And I beat the motherfuckers down. I threatened. I said, both y'all niggas get out the car. We about to box. His brother, his twin brother got out and start running. That's on my mama. He ran. Fling twins. He ran. Fling. The other brother got out, started talking shit. He walked away. I socked his punk ass and started throwing things like I'm born in the box. The partner he had with him started begging me to stop beating him up, but I kept beating his punk ass up. Then, instead of fighting me like a G, he ran. Now, I can't help it if some niggas that was on the scene beat his ass for running. That was something separate, you understand me? And I can't help it if they were screaming thug life as they did it. That ain't my fault. That's just how shit went down. You understand me? But now niggas need to start living what they preaching. They want to make gangster movies. They better live a gangster life. That's real. Or make movies about what the fuck they know about. But it's, I got to have these nightmares. These motherfuckers really put me in jail. They really suing me. So I'm going to really live this lifestyle. And I'm going to make other motherfuckers really live this lifestyle. Because it can't be crowded up here if motherfuckers ain't really putting in work. And that's real. What's up with that club in LA, dude? They shut me down. Oh, I did a, I had a show booked for uh, Jamaica, House. Jamaica House, right? And they wouldn't let me in the show. And my niggas, because all my motherfucking, whatever you want to call it, fans or the niggas that buy my records, my homies, they the motherfuckers that said, well, if Pop can't get in, we ain't getting in, nobody getting in, and they closed it down. They had to bring police and riot gear. Because you cannot ever underestimate niggas. We way too motherfucking strong. Hey, yeah. Can you get a witness on that? You need to pass that goddamn blunt. Niggas be tripping. Twin brother, give us the lowdown on that. We really don't know. We really don't twin know. brother. Yeah. Pee Wee. Yeah. When people say you're your twin, well, you know. Pee Wee, my nigga, man. I just told y'all I don't have no family. Pee Wee, my nigga. He my homie. He been my homie through Digital Underground. He a dope ass rapper, dope producer. That's all it is to that. Yeah. Now, Come on, y'all, get deep, man, and close this shit up. <laughs> Don't ask me for no interview unless y'all ready to interview, man. Hey, they got me, cuz. They got me. My shit is weak. I need something real. My shit is. I came via New York, Baltimore to Oakland. I was there about two years, about. So we hear that all in your albums, you know, how you get so much feeling from Oakland. Because that's where I got the game at, you know what I'm saying? Coming out of New York, I always learned about flavor and different shit like that. Not to diss New York, I learned a lot, but I never knew the game. I never learned the game. And when I went to Baltimore, I didn't learn the game. Nobody ever took the time to show me the game. When I got to Oakland, that's when I learned the game. That's when I just... 
Yeah. Nah, nigga, the game. It's not even one person. The yeah. game is just in. The game is it's like in me. It was in me. Somebody yeah. just awoke it. Somebody just w- woke it up inside me. You know what I'm saying? Like they're like a religion. And I just saw it. And I saw it in Oakland. And I saw it living in Oakland. I saw it thriving in Oakland. I just saw everybody being about the game. That's the first time I saw all niggas thinking about one thing. The game, and they all follow one rule, the game, the rules of the game. And that's, that was never in no other city I lived in, so I give all my love to Oakland. If I'm a claim somewhere, I'm a claim Oakland. Even if I don't live there. I live in LA now, but I'ma still claim Oakland. That's where it gave me the game. So I fit, I'm, 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 I'm a resident, you know what I'm saying? So what do you feel Oakland needs, like in the 60s, they came up with the Panthers who was stomping strong through Oakland and made noise. What's going to make noise today? Oakland got it. They got the players. They got Section 8. They got Richie Rich. They got the governor. They got Too Short. They got E-40. They got the click. They got the, the Bay Area is moving something. You know what I'm saying? Don't get it twisted. It's like they got the whole little revolution of music that's coming out. Niggas that's rapping from their heart. And they not taking nobody else's style. They just doing it. Is that strong enough, though? Yeah, that's that's all it take, nigga. Don't you know? That's all it take is for a motherfucker to be original. And that's where everybody be biting from. You know what I'm saying? That's what gave me the game, I just told you. So everything I do, you could give it to Oakland. Give all my, my Grammys and shit to Oakland. I told you before they get all the fucks out of Oakland. Huh? I, um, I, don't, I don't know who that I'll is. I'll speak in on that. Go ahead. Let us know how to like this shit really is, homie. You know what? Another damn kid. Just man, you know that? Man, he ain't gave nothing back to East Oakland, the ghetto of East Oakland. Down in the hard spots, he bought the cops. He ain't from Oakland. No, no. Uh-uh. He ain't gave nothing to the town. He ain't did nothing for East Oakland. But he don't even come through the motherfucker. Because he ain't from there. No, he ain't from there. Hey, where he from? Triple? I think he's from um, Oak Town. Oak Town, I don't know where the fuck Oak Town is at. You know, mm-hmm. I've been born and raised. I moved to Oakland in 71. <laughs> I, ain't, I don't know where the fuck Oak Town is at. I ain't even, you been to Oak Town before? <laughs> they be swinging that Oak Town shit on a major level. I've never been to Oak Town. Yeah. Oakland? Yeah, Oakland. Yeah. Now, now Oak Town is a place where you can jump off Taco Bells and shit and float <laughs> softly. <laughs> And all that other shit. But Oakland. Yeah, Oakland is just gang. It's a city of dope. It's ballers. For real though. Ballers. For real though. Bitch beat me, bet you all that I call her. You know. <laughs> you know. Yeah. But don't sleep on the Los Angeles area. It's all good. What made you move to L.A.? Because I had to leave Oakland due to some funk. And niggas could, Oakland's so small, somebody could just go to my house you know what I'm saying, and tie, be, everybody tie everybody up and be having a piss in my mouth before I knew it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, and I couldn't, I couldn't even find out who did it because it's so small and it's so tight. You know what I'm saying, the game is so deep, you won't even know who did you. And but where I live at right now, they can come get me, but they got to have a bulletproof heart because it's all good and I can see them coming. And we all even, you know what I'm saying, it's big enough to where as we all even. But out in Oakland, everybody knew where Tupac lived. I had motherfuckers coming to my door. Do, 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 do. Tupac here. <laughs> I lived on the strip. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> MacArthur, MacArthur, Lake Mary, where everything happened. I lived there, nigga. I used to come out to LA and do shows and niggas breaking in my house, stealing my AK. He had hella parties at his house. Head job. Oh, oh yeah, tell him, I, I'm the toss him up king. How did that now? Come on. Niggas that got hella head jobs at my house hella from bitches job. that I done provided through my, you know what I'm saying? Just hella head you jobs, know. man. You know. Can you let everybody know who your stepfather is? No. I don't believe in that stepfather hey. shit. That's hey. some shit. You wrote this guy. That's some shit. Ah. That's some shit that they just. Know. That's some shit they just made He's up in my bio. There ain't of no work. such thing as a stepfather. My father is dead. He in the ground. He was a hustler. You know what I'm saying? My sister's father is, you know what I'm saying, a political prisoner. He in jail for doing his thing, you know what I'm saying? And he gonna be in there for a long time. But now he's still giving me the game for free, you know what I'm saying, handling my business on the streets. And my godfather, you know what I'm saying, is in jail for the same old righteous panther shit. But now, that don't mean nothing. That should only tell you that it's in my blood. That shouldn't tell you nothing else besides that. Because every man gotta stand on his own two feet, and that's what I'm about. Because my daddy ain't do nothing but give me the motherfucking chromosomes to be here. 
you know, and that's he can't get no more other credit. All this came from the hoods. Hoods. Hey man, fuck you. Man. He finna start he sipping. Let's get that on the camera. He's sipping. He's sipping. He's sipping. He's sipping. <laughs> And if he had that option, his ass would have been gone. Believe that. Believe Lights that. Lights off, shut down. Shut down. Yeah. I'd be doing my thing. Yeah. Hey, hey, before you cut, it's, it will cut this a little freestyle, son. Yeah. I'm a fart. It's barbecue. It's barbecue. Don't do that. Like, it's you know, that shit like, yo, this is Fox, Richie, Rich. We introduced the technoverbal cues. G. Yeah, that's low, 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 do your thing, Cass. No, you do. You're going to give me high. You're going to give me high. I don't got no music. You don't need 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 no music. You <laughs> my motherfucking nephew right here. That's my feet, man. I was supposed to ride a sport. I was supposed to get him a bike when he was 13, but I forgot. I was drinking. <laughs> and he ain't never forgive me. He ain't never forgive me. He still hate me to this day. I taught that boy how to throw a ball. He broke too many wonders. I ain't fucking that kid no more. Right. We out of this motherfucker one time on the verbal cues with the news. Giving the hoes the blues and hopefully making enough money to get some new shoes. Sideways. <laughs> hey, I'm finna go call me a goddamn cat. I got a bad one up here. That's right, G. Y'all wrong for that shit, man. Yeah. Talk to the 12. Just get as right as you want. Yeah, nice. I want to go. Just get as right as you want. Oh, nigga. Yeah. This is yo nigga pop. Love some fat cock about to rock this rhyme for my niggas in black watching. Um, it's all good living in the hood and I'm um, peak game and it's understood. They want me to bust a freestyle, but I gotta get paid. So, show sure as a motherfucker gotta get laid, ho. I gotta do my thing like I do it and um, I'm through cause you shit already knew it. Uh, it's, it's all good. Hey, next time if I get paid, I do something funkier. But uh, <laughs> all that freestyle got to be free. So. Posse up, we thugging, thugging y'all to the nineties. Peace to my nigga Kato.